Good morning, students. Welcome to the statistics class. This is Matthew, sir, teaching you statistics, and I am teaching you about tabulation. In the previous class or the previous videos, I had explained to you how to draft a blank table. And now, today, I am going to take the data and uh, how to uh, insert the data into the table, or in other words, prepare a table and and put the data inside the table or insert the data into the table and that is what we need to learn it okay students so the data is given to us in percentage if you can see it here the data is given in percentage okay so let's study what is that right in a sample study regarding smoking habits in a town the following data were obtained Men population were 58%, smokers 22%, men smokers 18%. There's a tabulate about data. This data we need to uh, put it in a table. Okay, what is a table? A table which consists of rows and columns. Okay, so we need to enter that. Okay, so now students. How to start this type of a problem or how to start or how to form this table it's very simple students here the first thing that what i ask you is to identify what are the characteristics that we see here okay if we identify the characteristics here then easily we can understand and how many rows how many columns and what we have to do it okay so I can see here this is men population. That means they are speaking about one characteristic called sex. And you know, sex has can be men, okay, and also can be women. Right? So these two is possibility. Then we see in the second they said it's smokers students. That means there is a characteristic of smoking. Okay. And we can write this to be as the people who smokes, or we call them as smokers, and the other one, other group are non-smokers. Is it right, students? Yes. These are the two things that we have it here. Apart from that, we don't find anything else. Men smokers and smokers. That's it. They, they see. That means there are only two characteristic students for us, and it's very simple for us to do it. Okay, two characteristics, one characteristic in the row, okay, if you take it as a, a smokers, okay, and just uh, roughly I will make it smokers as one row, okay, and non-smokers as another row, okay, and the total can be as another row, then one column can be all about men, another column can be about women, another column can be about total. Is it right? And this way we can clearly form a table, students. Uh, you know, two characteristics table it is. Fine. This is very simple to form. Is that okay? Right. Now, whatever it may be, students, we need to go according to the right, according to what the, the rules or the requisite that they said. Okay, according to the specimen. Now, what is that they say? Which they say very clearly that the table number must be returned. What is the table number? I'll take this table number as three students because already we have learned one and two. Now we have right. Now this is all about uh, all about smoking habits in a town. Is it right? Smoking habits. So, so I'll write this title as table table. Okay, table representing representing. Very simple students. This is how we need to make it representing. Right, smoking habits, smoking habits of people or of persons, smoking habit of persons in a town, in a town. Is that clear? Right. Very simple, students. This is what. It is. So we have written uh, the table number. We have written the title. So what we can do is we can write it here as head note. What we can say the data is in percentages. Can write it the data is in percentages. Okay. 
so this is what uh, we can write is that clear students very simple this is how we need to do it so now as i said i'll take men as one column okay women as another column okay and the total as another column students total as another column is that clear right the next one is i will take smokers okay i will take smokers as one row non smokers as another row non smokers as another row and the next row i'll take this to be as total okay so let me take let me draw the lines and uh, make it very neat it will be very easy for us to understand okay so i will first draw the um you know rows okay this is one i'll take a different color so it could be good for you to understand okay right. so this is one row this is another row for us okay and this is another row this is another row okay so i will take uh, the top also i will fill it up because it will be very neat to do it so this is what so now we'll draw the columns we'll draw the columns okay so the columns would be like this we'll start with the the edge the border okay then we come to the characteristic that is uh, dividing the smokers and the sex okay so the next would be men is that right okay and right. then we'll have a women okay it's very simple students no don't uh, confuse yourself in this because this is a five marks question and uh, anyone can do it and even i uh, know a school going student also if we teach we will be doing it so clear okay so now let me take uh, another uh, uh, light color and represent it now okay so right now students you first understand they said in percentages that means the data whatever will be given to us is in percentage that means what is the total percentage percentage means 100 so whatever it is this is the grand total student this cell represents grand total so this should be 100 so okay whatever it is uh, what whatever however we total it the grand total should be 100 is that okay so i think i have uh, not uh, done one uh, line i will do it here okay um, i think i forgot it which divide the uh, the main the main characteristic okay yeah this is one i have to do it i forgot to write it done okay right. so this is how uh, we need to do it students um uh, sorry okay 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 uh, we will just do it and let i'll finish it up students okay now when we have this as a uh, um um uh, uh, 100 you know they said smokers men they said in percentages that also should be uh, in uh, you know wherever however it is we should uh, do it in such a way that the total should be always 100 okay so let's see okay if you just go back and check the data what is that data that we have they said men population is 58% men population men okay irrespective of whatever it is men population is 58 so when uh, men are 58 percentage and what would be how many what is the percentage of women 
the percentage of women would be 42. Is it right? The remaining 100 minus 58 would be 42. Is that clear? Right. Then the next thing they said they have given for us is, uh, is smokers are 22. Smokers are 22. They said smokers are 22. What is it? Smokers are 22. This whole total, smokers total is 22%. Okay, 22. That means out of 100, 22% are smokers and the non-smokers will be, how many students? They will be around 78. Is it right? Okay, because 78 and 22, if you add, you should get 100. Clear? Right. Then they clearly mentioned one more thing as men smokers as 18% students. Men smokers are 18%. Men smokers. This is 18%. So if at all we speak about smokers, total smokers are 22%. In that men are 18, then how many are women? 22 minus 18 will be 4. Is that clear? So now the remaining two blanks we can uh, blank cells we can enter. That is 58 minus 18 would be how much? 40 students. Is it right? Okay. So 40. 58 minus 18 would be 40. Correct? Yes. Then 42 minus 4 would be how much? 38 students. So this is how we enter the data. It's quite simple. Is it right? Very simple. So now, if ever we have to write a you know footnote, we can write footnote regarding the what type of data this is and all. We can write it. Okay, it is in percentages. We can say it's all about smokers and uh, data in percentages. We also can write like this. Uh, not like required also. Okay, and uh, also source. From where did we get the source? If at all you have the source mentioned, you can write the source here. Blah blah blah. This is how. We have to do the data students. Okay. So this is what is one of the problem that we have to understand in doing it. Is that clear? Right. I hope it is very clear to your students. Okay. Right. Now let's go for the next type of problem students. The next type of problem. So the next type of problem is, is almost the same students. It's almost the same. But you know what it is? It is given into right one more characteristic is introduced here okay what are the characteristics that is introduced here if i have to write it i'll say first one is we have to classify according to towns okay number one according to towns what are the two, uh, towns we have we have town a and town b okay this is one then next we have to uh, classify the data according to the sex Okay, according to the sex. So there are males in the in the data. If you see there, there are males and there are females. They have not mentioned, but obviously there will be females. Okay, fine. You can see that clearly. I will go in detail regarding that data. Then we we'll speak about the habit. What is that habit? Coffee drinking. Coffee drinking habit. Okay, coffee drinker or coffee drinking. We can write it as. So we can divide them also into those people who drink coffee or coffee drinkers we can call as one group and non-coffee drinkers the other group. Non-coffee drinkers as, as the another group. Students. Is that clear now? You can see. Now what is that you see? Tabulate the following data about coffee drinking habits in two towns A and B. So 55% in town A, 55% were males, 28% were coffee drinkers, and 18% were male coffee drinkers. In town B, 52% were males, 25% were coffee drinkers, and 16% were right, male coffee drinkers. Okay. What we have done in the previous problem in the same video is was all about only one particular town. But now they have given us two towns. The table should be I uh, you know we have to introduce another characteristics of town. Okay, so roughly how I can I can tell you is in this way, students. You can easily uh, do it this way. Uh, it will be very easy for you. Okay, I'll just show it to you, students. Then I wanted you people to do it. I'll just give you 
a brief idea how to do it but you have to follow the same pattern as as i have showed it to you in the previous uh, problem okay so now i will take uh, towns okay i will take towns as a town a okay i will take as uh, town a town a and town b as two main columns town b okay then i will divide this into male female and total likewise i'll give it take as male female and total then i will take here as coffee drinkers in the rows that is the stubs coffee drinkers and another one is non coffee drinkers non coffee drinkers okay so like that uh after that another one is total okay i'll do it roughly students i want you all uh, to do it perfectly in your notes i am just trying uh, to explain to you okay so that uh, one of uh, one of the uh, accounts i'll enter the data then the remaining i think you need to do it so this is what you need to understand how to do it because everything can't be showed to you okay everything can't be shown to you or at least some of the things you need to do it so okay so that is what i am doing it here it's all uh, right uh, roughly yeah? don't uh, uh, think anything else okay now they have given us coffee drinkers town a is one right town b is another one here yeah? so let's think about only just town a we'll focus on town a right let's see town a how many have, uh, are there males they said 55% are males okay 55% are males out of 100 remaining should be how many females 45% is that clear fine right then next this is very clearly 28% were coffee drinkers 28% were coffee drinkers 28% were coffee drinkers out of uh, 128 the remaining 72 of them are non coffee drinkers okay next is in that 18% were male coffee drinkers 18% were male coffee drinkers 18 of them male coffee drinkers so out of 28 18 are uh, gone then the remaining is 10 here is it right and 45 10 are gone the remaining here is 35 okay is that clear in 55 18 are gone okay so how much will be left out here students okay you can clearly uh, see that in 55 18 is gone okay so we can um, see that uh, um, you know uh, 7 right how much tell me 37 37 35 is 72 37 plus 18 is 55. Is it right? So this is how we need to do it, students. This is this is what is all about town A. So now I want you all to do for town B and complete the problem, students. Okay? Don't leave it blank. Okay? Don't leave it blank. As when you come to show the notes to us, to see that this problem is completed. Okay? Thank you very much. I hope you have understood this. Okay? Thank you.